So I'm back to show you how to draw a proper isoline map. So the prefix iso means the same. So we're going to go through, it's kind of like Earth Science Connect the Dots. We're going to do a couple of different types of maps to show you the proper way to draw these isolines. Now whenever you have an isoline, there's a couple rules you have to make sure. Okay, they will either start and end at the edges of the map or they will make circles around each other. The other thing is they never cross. You can't have two values in the same spot at the same time. And the key here, the interval. You want to look at what points are you going through and connecting. Well, here we're going to do the 18, the 20, and the 22 isotherms. So isotherms are equal temperatures. So here's how I like to do things first. I'm going to start out with the 18. What I like to do is I actually like to X out the values given to me. So there's an 18, there's an 18, there's an 18, there's an 18. That looks to be it. So it looks like my 18 line is going to come right down the left side and then off the map. There's no other spot here where there could be an 18. So I like to start it off the map and I make sure that my line goes through the point of the number. Notice how I'm starting and ending off the map. Let's do the 20. I have a 20 here, 20 here, 20 here, another one here, and another one here. Make sure there's no other given to me. So somehow I'm going to have to connect these up top with these at the bottom. So what I have to ask myself is where are these 20s going to go? So clearly, because I'm pre-mapping it out, I see those are going to connect. Well, how do I get this one to this one? Well, I'm going to go in between a 19 and a 21. The value 20 falls between 19 and 21. How am I going to get to here? Well, I'm going to go between 19 and 21 here. I'm going to go between 19 and 21 here. So you've got to watch those hidden values. If you miss a hidden value and you put your line in between values that it cannot, you're going to have a little bit of an issue. Like there's no 20s over here. I can't swing this around between values that 20 does not fall between. And then number 22. You have a 22 value here, 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 and here. That looks to be it. Looks like no other spot there could be a 20. I'm going to begin off the map. Come down, just like so. So if I stop it like right there, that would be incorrect. Because I'm stopping within the map. I want to start and end at the edges of the map here. Run it off like so. So that's a real basic field map that shows up very often on a practice exam or on a regents exam, on your chapter test, whatever it might be. The next one I want to do is I want to show you an actual contour line map. And this contour line map is very, very uh, simplistic. So again, you'll have an opportunity to kind of go through. We're going to draw the 50 and the 55. So let me go through and connect all my 50s first. So I have a 50 here, 50 here, another one there, another one there. I always X out the ones that I'm looking for first that are actually given. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to see, find some hidden. So to connect these, I got to go through 49 and 53. There's a 50. To connect this 50 here, I got to go between 47 and 53. To connect this 50 up here, well, if I go around the left side here of that 52, that's incorrect. I have to go around the right side because between 48 and 52, and between 47 and 52, there are 50s. And then I'll go up, run it off the map. Again, I'm going to go right directly through the point of the 50. Just like so. Now look how there's like a little bend. It's like a little notch. I want to include that little notch right there. Stay consistent. So there's my 50 line. And my 55s. 55. Alright, so I only have two of them that are actually given to me on the map. So I have to be able to connect them. 
Well, that's, there's going to be some hidden values here. So between 53 and 58, there's a 55. So now I come to this 56. Do I go to the left of it or the right of it? I'm going to go to the right of it because between 53 and 56, there's a 55. 53 and 57, 53 and 57, 55 is going to fall right between them, 54 and 56. Now I have a nice path to be able to go through. I'm going to put that little notch in my line there. It's like the, all the other ones. When you get to topographic maps, you'll see exactly what those mean. So that would be a temperature map. I'm sorry, that is a contour map. Very, very easy to see the contour lines that show elevation. So this is elevation. The previous one was temperature. I also want to show you one on pressure. These are called isobars. And I have three lines here, 1,012, 1,016, 1,020. So let me do the 1,012s first. X out the ones that are given to me, 1,012. Let's see where else. I have one down here. I think that's it with my 1,012. So I have to be able to link this up. So between 1,009 and 1,016, there's a 12. Between 11 and 16, there's a 12. Between 11 and 14, there's a 12. We've got a lot of hidden values here. Between 10 and 15, 10 and 14, 11 and 13, and then here between 10 and 13. So I'm kind of abbreviating my values. Now I have a nice pathway of X's. I'm going to go through and connect. Off the map first. Connect your points very slowly. Take your time. Go through the point itself. So there's the 1,012s. 1,016 here, here, another one. Always X out the ones that are given first. Okay, now I need to find a couple hidden ones. So I'm going to come down. I can go between 14 and 20. So there. I can go between 14 and 20. There's a 16. To there. All right, so now I have to figure out where am I, how am I going to connect these? Well, I'm going to go under the two th uh, 1019. There's a 16 there between 14 and 19. 13 and 17, there's a 16 there as well. You don't have to find every hidden value. You just want to make sure that your line can go through the proper values. And then 1,020. Here, here, one here, one here. So it looks like it's going to kind of loop and up. It's going to come down. Now i got to go between 19 and 23, between 19 and 21, between 18 and 22. Those are all 20s. Between 18 and 21, there's a 20. Got to take your time with these. Because if you just make miss one value, the whole thing's going to be wrong. That's how we go through and make proper field lines, whether it's a pressure map with isobars, a temperature map with isotherms, or a elevation map with contour lines. So hopefully this gives you a little hand, and good luck on your next assessment.